Yo, what is up people, it's Vozubit here. Today we're going to talk about MIDI controllers, such as pads or keys, anything like that, and configuring them with Reaper. First of all, you need to plug in your MIDI device, like that, and let your computer install um, the drivers. Most of the popular basic MIDI controllers don't really need any fancy drivers. The computer will install them on its own if you have uh, the internet access. However, there are some devices that may require uh, their own drivers. The other thing is that some of the devices, in this example, the Akai MPD, 218 have their own control software. It's not a driver because the controller will work without this piece of software, but this program right here lets you configure your controller the way you like. For example, you can change the notes on the pads, you can insert some scales if you like, and many other things, but this is not a video about Akai MPD 218. By the way, if you want to hear more things about this exact controller, just let me know in the comment section down below. Okay, now in Ripper, I'm going to open the options menu, go down here, right to the preferences at the very bottom. Here in preferences, I'm clicking MIDI device under audio, and here you have two smaller windows, MIDI inputs and MIDI outputs. If you still didn't see your MIDI device on the list, maybe you plugged in while Reaper was running because um, it's scanning the MIDI devices at the uh, launch. Just click reset all MIDI devices and everything should be here. So here's my controller MPD 218 and right now for the purpose of this tutorial I've disabled it. And to make it work just click the right button of your mouse and click enable input. Now you will be able to send the information from your device to Reaper. So if you hit the pad you can receive a MIDI information on your computer. So now this pad section right here is working properly but all these knobs, all these other things which let you control any parameter in your DAW needs to be configured too. So if your controller has something more than keys or pads, any knobs, any faders, anything that lets you control something in your DAW, you have to get back to this list right here. We've just changed. Click the right button of your mouse and enable input for control messages. And now you can not only receive MIDI notes from your MIDI controller, but also control messages such as you know, moving the knob or moving the fader. Okay, now here I have a new track. I set the MIDI input to MPD 218. I arm it for recording and I turn on record monitoring. Let's just insert uh, a sample real quick so we can have a clue if it works or not. Okay, as you could hear, it works properly. Let's just insert any instrument, uh, for example, piano. And now as everything is set up, you can just hit record and record something. And here we go, we've got a working MIDI controller. So that's basically how you configure a MIDI controller in Reaper. If you want to know anything more, just ask your questions in the comment section down below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe with all the notifications. See you in the next video on Friday. My name is Dominic, you've been watching Vozo Beats and keep the good vibes alive.